Hey everybody, it is time for another pen haul. So we're going to get started with these pens. Now, I bought these um, mostly for taking notes because I had a friend who had some of these and let me use one and I really liked them. But as you can see, there's a lot of colors here. And as you know, I really like colored pens. So um, there's a lot of different colors. But mostly I use the reds blacks and blues for notes. Now there's a specific reason I chose this set to buy um, and it's partially because it has two of each of these which I wanted to use for notes and then one of each of the additional colored ones so I could have a little fun but still primarily get the ones I needed for school. So let's get started with these. So first we have a red one. Now as you can see these are really really thin. They are 0.38 tips um, so they're basically microscopic, which is great for writing, uh, cheat sheets when your teachers allow you to have them for exams because you can write super small and fit a lot of information. Um, we also have the black ones. Now I like these black ones because they're nice and dark, but you know, I just really like these pens in general. Uh, they're one of my favorite ones I have right now. And then we have kind of the generic blue color um, that you see with most blue pens for note taking. Now here's where it gets a little more interesting. We also have a light blue um, and this one's a nice kind of bright light blue. So sometimes you'll get light blues that you can barely see but this one shows up pretty well. Um, one of my personal, well actually my favorite one, my favorite color here, we have a dark teal pen, and this is by far my favorite one. It's my favorite color, um, but I also just really like specifically this color teal, and um, pair that with the fact that I like these pens, and you're set to go. <laughs> we have green next. Uh, this is a light green, so I think it's a little better for doing decorations, not as great for writing. Um, it doesn't show up as well as the other colors. We also have an orange pen here. This one shows up pretty well. Um, I don't really have any complaints about it. <laughs> um, orange isn't my favorite color, but that's all. Uh, we have a nice pink one. This is another nice bright color, a nice inky pink, even though you might expect it not to show up because of the size of the pen um, and the color. And this is another one of my favorite ones, is the purple. This is a really good purple. Um, so this is just really solid purple color. All of these colors are very vibrant um, when you write with them, and I really like that. I also, like I said before, I really like the, um, the pen size because it allows for very small, clean writing. So... These I would definitely recommend. I love these pens. If you like writing small and neat and want to take notes, these are these are great. They're called, um, well, I don't know if I can pronounce that, but um, you can see if you just look up this name uh, on Amazon, it'll come with all kinds of color combination packs. So that's great. Plus they have cute, adorable little bunnies on them. And what more could you want? So next up, we have our Muji pens. Now these are another popular pen among pen fanatics. Um, the same person who gave me one of the previous pens, uh, let me use one of these and told me they were really good. So I got some to try them out. So this has a variety of colors. It has a lot of colors I really like in here. So let's get started. We have another red here. As you can see, these are very glossy pens. These are, um, they also say that they're 0.38, um, but I think they're a little bit thicker when in, in reality, just because of the glossiness of the pen. So this is one of my favorite colors. I'm not really sure what to call it. It's a kind of pink, but it's a little bit of an orangey pink. Um, and I really like this one specifically. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of a lighter pink, a more vibrant one, like um, like the last one over here. These are very similar colors. This one's just uh, glossier. 
we have another orange here. Um, it's a little more yellowy than this one. We have a blue, which is a little brighter than your general pen blue you'll get. Um, and again, I think it's because of the glossiness of the ink. And here we have another teal. This is a light teal, but this is also one of my favorites uh, for this set. One of my favorite colors because I love teal. <laughs> and then we have green here, another bright green. Um, as you can see, this one's a little more yellowy than our previous set. And finally, we have a black here. So these are all very glossy pens. Um, they're nice. I would suggest them more for drawing, really, or decorating. I personally don't like taking notes with these pens. Um, they kind of, my letters kind of blur together in the sense that um, when I write and I try to write neatly, I get these kind of carryovers here between the letters. Um, so if I'm trying to write super neatly and have all the letters separated, I don't particularly like these. Um, I like these first pens that we had a lot better because they aren't glossy and so they don't carry over in the same way. But it's up to you. If you write your notes in cursive for things, that's, uh, these would be great. The Muji pens would be great for you. Um, I also got this, which is a beautiful pack of metallic brush pens. Now, I love brush pens, and I really, really wanted some. So I bought a lot of brush pens. Probably the rest of the pens we'll be showing, except for one drawing pen, are going to be brush pens. So that's exciting. <laughs> But these are really, really nice. Um, so let's get started with these colors. These I just found on Amazon. I didn't have anyone suggest them to me or let me try them out. So I found them all on my own. <laughs> but this is kind of a light, um, kind of yellowy green. But it's very nice. It's very vibrant. And as you can see at the edges of the coloring, is where you see the metallic. So you could draw, you could color something in, have the edges be metallic and the rest to be like a deep green. The metallic part kind of rubs off and you end up getting like this in here, this deep green. But if you're drawing within the same picture, it can look really nice. So this is a darker green, more of a foresty green. Uh, this is another one of my favorites. If you can't tell, I love blues. Um, <laughs> So yeah, this is a really nice blue. And as you can see, you see the silver metallic kind of show up on top. But if you keep drawing over it, you can see that deep blue inside. So the first few strokes you have with these are generally very, very metallic. But then as you keep drawing, they turn a little more into their color. Uh, here we have a purple. This one, you can see the purple right away, less metallic. Um, this is a really nice one. I really like this color too. Uh, here we have a pink, and this is a nice kind of orangey pink instead of a bright pink like we have up with these. So I like this one a lot. Uh, then we get into the fun kind of shiny colors, like we have a gold here. And it's a really nice one. I really like this gold. It's very bright, very warm. Um, it's just really fun to draw with. We have a copper here. So this is a very shiny copper. Um, but I really like this one too. I really like all these kind of metallic ones that we're about to see here. This is one of my all time favorite ones of this set. Um, it's a metallic kind of really dark gray. So it's almost like a metallic black. Um, here it's showing up very silver. But like I said, the more you draw with it, the darker it gets. But it's a kind of dark silver because it is a black in a way. Um, but I really like that one. And then here we have our light silver. Um, also really nice to, if you draw something with a regular brush pen, all of these are great for going over within the same color and um, adding accents and details. So I really like those. Um, there's also a white one which I mean, it does not show up on this paper, but 
if we had black paper, it would probably show up better. Um, I think I've used this on also kind of cardboardy paper. So I don't really know. I don't really use this one a lot. <laughs> but um, as a set, these are great and I've used them for a lot of different drawings. Um, I like using them for a lot of different accents on the regular brush pen colors. Um, they're really good quality. I haven't had any problems with them, so I would recommend these. And they also, um, so there's the company they come from, but they also have this cute little card that tells you if you have any problems with your pens, uh, to contact them. So that's nice. They, they're really good. I definitely would recommend these pens. And next we have another set of pens here. So these are really bright brush pens. These are double-sided. Uh, so let's take these all out of their package. It's a mess. <laughs> so here we have a bunch of different really vibrant, really bright, strong colors. So I really like these two. So let's get started with these. All right, so let's get started with our red bright red and as you can see they have double sided so there's a fine tip on one end and a brush pen on the other so we'll do both here we have a very very bright red very nice uh, brush tips I use these a lot <laughs> and then they have a very nice uh, clean line for that fine tip part of it um, I also use the fine tip side a lot. They're great for um, also accenting the brush pen in a different color. So if you do it in red, you accent it in pink or something. Um, really great for that. Or doing outlines when you fill in behind it. And as you can see, this is a very bright, bright pink. All of these are very vibrant colors, which I like a lot. Um, here we have an orange. Um, but yes, I recently have been doing some drawings originally in pencil and then uh, coloring in either the inside or outside with brush pens and these fine tip sides are great for outlining uh, your pencil drawings to make them stand out more, outlining your finished products to make them look nice and clean. So a lot of times, well, a lot of times you buy brush pens or when I first bought these I wasn't sure I was going to use the fine tip side but I've used it a lot more than I thought I would um, and I actually really like that addition to the brush pen so definitely worth it and all of these were pretty cheap uh, pretty good prices on Amazon when I bought them um, so they're not hard to find um, the brush pen sets I did buy on Amazon, so I couldn't tell you where to get them off Amazon. <laughs> um, but they were pretty cheap online. And as you can tell, I've used this blue one a little bit more. So the more you use it, it kind of gets a little softer. Um, but so far I haven't had any problems with these tips uh, breaking on me or becoming unusable or in any way. Uh, I really like this purple too. <laughs> this has a lot of good colors. I like that it has multiple shades of blue and green um, and a really strong dark royal purple. So this black is beginning to die a little bit but that's my fault. <laughs> um, as you can see I've used it a lot so it's getting a little stringy. Um, I've colored in a lot of backgrounds, I've done a lot of detailing with this one. Um, but I got it over the summer, so it's been it's been a few good months of using that one uh, a whole lot consistently, um, and it's only just now running dry and coloring in large spaces with that black. So they last a pretty good time. Um, it just depends on how much you use it. So that is all of the colors for this set. So these, um, this is what the box looks like. I'm not quite sure what the company name is. 
Um, but if you look up brush pen set or just brush pen um, colored sets on Amazon, you could find this one. This is what the picture looks like um, in the preview. And you could definitely find this one pretty easily because that's just what I did and I um, I was looking for a cheaper one. So that's what I did and that's how I found this one. All right, so next we have this. This was actually a gift I got for my birthday, which was pretty funny um, because my friend did not know that I had just bought a bunch of brush pens and that I really liked brush pens. <laughs> so then she bought this for me and that was amazing. <laughs> so this one is Tombow brand and she got it at Artisan Craftsman, but I've also seen them online. In fact, I actually just purchased a grayscale one of these um, to partially replace that black pen that I just showed that I used up so much, but also because it has a lot of nice grays. Um, so let's get started with these. These are some very interesting colors. They, It's not common rainbow colors. As you can see, there's no blues, um, but they're all really nice colors. And then here we have a blender to help blend those colors. So let's get started. Here we have red. And this is very, very bright red, as you can see, compared to like the other red in this first pack. This is a very vibrant red. And these also have a fine tip side, um, which is a little finer than the first set. Um, I really like these. As you can see how easily the brush makes big strokes, and it also can do fine detailing. Um, they move really easily. They're super easy to use. And I like all of that about them. I like that you can trace things and you can slowly add value as you go along. Um, instead of just um, starting out large, like the other ones tend to start out a little bit stronger than these do. Um, it's got some really nice greens too, which is not really a color you see often. We've got a, the classic bright green and kind of forest green here, but we've also got this very different green. And then with this one, it's a much deeper green. So I like these greens that come. Um, also this yellow back here is a much deeper yellow than you usually get, so that's really cool. Uh, these purples are beautiful. They are some of my favorite colors in this set. Um, you've got a very nice, very light purple, and then a very, um, very beautiful kind of royal purple, but not, it's a little grayer than this one. This one's just a very bright purple. This is a very much just darker kind of gray purple. Um, another one I really like is this brown. It's very soft, but I like it. <laughs> um, I like it a lot. I like these browns in this set. Um, we'll go down here. And this is kind of a very light, almost tannish beige. And then right here we've just got the blender. So this also has a small tip for blending small and blending large. As you can see, I've used this a little bit already, um, but it just helps blend those colors together. So this set is um, probably one, one of my favorites. Um, I like this, I like these um, even better than these because um, these Tombow ones are just very cleaner and they feel like they're higher quality. Uh, when not, when I'm using them, they fill in faster, they uh, write easier, they draw smoother. These are not quite as smooth. However, um, these Tombow ones are a little more opaque. So if you're drawing something and you're going back over it, you'll be able to see where you've gone back over it with these. Whereas um, with this first set, because they are so solid, you can draw back over it and not see it as clearly. 
So it depends on the nature of what you're drawing. But I really, really like these, and I would recommend these if you're looking for some good brush pens, if you're looking for ones to do larger things with or filling in backgrounds and stuff, I would suggest these. So um, I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. We're just going to draw straight over this. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. So as you can see, if I'm filling in a green here and then I fill in next to it, everywhere I overlapped right there in between, you can see it will fade up. Um, well, not fade up, but it, it'll show that it's been colored over. Whereas with these, if you do that, it doesn't quite show as much. Um, it's not as dark. I can, I tend to be able to go with these a little easier when I'm trying to fill in space. Um, and not have that show. But with these, these fill in space a whole lot faster. However, something I discovered when I was uh, filling in a picture with both of these different kinds of pens is that um, if you know that overlap is going to happen, you can embrace it. <laughs> and so you can make um, kinds of cool patterns. So you can do small things. And then if you keep going like this, it ends up looking a little bit like cobblestones or... Uh, cracked ground, different things like that. You see those veins, and if you do it on purpose with a little bit of design, it can look really cool uh, and add some texture to the area that you're filling in. So last but surely not least, we have one last pen, this beautiful drawing pen. Now I've been using this a lot recently since I got it, um, and I like this one a lot. It's a three... Um, Pigma Micron pen, <laughs> and it's just a drawing pen, but it is really nice. So it makes very thin lines. I got black. I think they only sell in black with different colors, but um, I really like the way that this draws, how clean it is, and it allows you to uh, almost kind of sketched like this while still being able to have clean lines. Um, it allows you to fill in a little bit too without uh, scribbling a lot, which you might have to do with finer pens or different pens. Overall, I've been using this a whole lot recently and I really like the way that it draws and I really enjoy drawing with it. So I would definitely recommend this. They also have a uh, one size and a five. I'm not sure if they have seven, but they have different sizes for you to choose from based on what your preference is. So I would definitely recommend this for drawing pens. So if you have any questions or anything else you want to ask, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And if you haven't seen my first pen haul video, then I would suggest go looking at that one if you're interested in more pen hauls. <laughs> if you're interested in more of my opinions on pens, I would say go look at that one. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the little bell, even though you probably won't get those notifications from me, but it's okay. Um, if you don't get notifications and you want to, just check in every once in a while to see when I put up new things. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. I will be reading and responding to those. Please like this video if this was helpful or if you just enjoy looking at all kinds of different fun colored pens. Um, and I will see you guys next time.